Okay. Thunderbird for the first map, huh? Yeah, Thunderbird. Thunderbird! Thunder! Remember Thundercats? Thundercats! Ho! No, I remember Thumper. Was he the rabbit? Yeah, the rumper, Thumper the rabbit. Thumper the rabbit. Alright, well, welcome wow. to Thunderbird. Uh, this is a best of nine ZVZ. But speaking of Zs, uh, we have the blue Zerg, Zerg player down in the bottom right hand corner from Clan Shivo. It's Cham. And on top left, the Zerg player. It is the one and only Scarlet. I'm about to move that ass. Let's see here. All right. So, what are your predictions for this um, best of nine? Uh, I'm thinking it's gonna be Scarlet that takes it. You think it's uh, gonna be pre Oh shit! Oh shit! No one yelled at me. We're like in the game, and I have like. <laughs> what? It's a great way to start this. Oh my. God, we're doing introductions and no one told me that I had the the wrong screen on. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happened? <laughs> yep. Uh, good start. And great start. Great start. So what do we got here? It's we fun. Chem is starting off with a hatch first as well as it's fun. Have fun. Guard. What's up, guys? Yeah, same build at the moment. We're uh we're gonna take this to a later game. Yeah, I think Scarlet's gonna take it. What do you think? You think Chem? I don't know much about Chem. That's, that's the reason why. Chem I would... is a good player. He has his um, he's sort of an underdog, uh, but he has his times where he's like, he's really, 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 uh, really, really. I'm thinking of a word. Really dedicated to his practice, and it really, really shows. Um. How many really is did I say? That was really a lot. Uh, but and then sometimes it seems like he's a little bit. I wouldn't say behind on the metas, but uh, he's just just not up to par with the the top tier players. Okay. But when he does practice, it really, really shows. Really, really shows. <laughs> really, really. Really, really. <laughs> really. <laughs> For reals. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got the first third from Shem. Just taking that first uh, macro attempt. And I like this from Z both okay. Zerg players. They have enough vision on the map to where they know they do not need any lings at all on the map. Um, because the less army production they have right now, um, before they reach that like 66 drone threshold that they want to reach, then those those lings aren't really viable unless they get a scout in or something. But those could potentially be more drones for for a better economy. And they're both um, utilizing the information they they have. No lings have been made so far. They're just droning up, getting their hatch rays up. Very 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 passive. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're gonna have our uh, first scouting lings coming out from Scarlet while she's getting an overlord. Ooh, overlord goes down. Yeah, actually, it's gonna be two overlords. This is really unfortunate for Tam. That is that is very unfortunate in the beginning of the game having that happen so early. Those are two overlords that need to be remade. And I see what you mean. I mean, this is the biggest map, so if if you really take a risk early on with some links at the bigger at this ramp and don't do that damage, yeah, it's gonna definitely kill you at the end. With the drone count. Yeah. Uh, but looking at the drone count right now, it's pretty even. It's 38 to 36 in favor of Scarlet, the pink Zerg. But riches are starting to come out for Cham. So maybe, yeah, we're going we're gonna to see a lot of riches. But remember, there is defender's advantage. Uh, if Scarlet can get the scout off, she'll be able to really uh, make... Oh her choice on how she wants to defend nice. but she does have that layer finishing up now roach is coming out from shem oh look Lorenzo has joined the topic of roaches 
Uh-oh. Wait, wait, wait. What are these drones? What are these? Oh, oh, they're just mining the center. Okay, okay. Okay. I forgot. About, I, 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 for what happened? I thought they were already mined out. <laughs> <laughs> so that happens right, when you so pick on me. So this is a lot of roaches, Florencio. That is a lot of roaches. I like it. I like this. Um, I'm not sure there's enough no. here yet for Scarlet. We're gonna prey on Defender's Advantage and these two spines to really push back Cham. Yeah. Uh, no energy for transfuses at the moment. He let the Lings in, which I like. He has to get up close because roaches do not have good good range. It looks like he's starting to focus fire um, down these spines. He got a couple of those queens as well, but his army supply is running a little bit low. Yeah. It's 21 to 37. And it's good that he's pulling back. Coming out uh, for our concert. Yeah, he's starting to pull back. He's going to lose some of these supplies yeah, he's gonna too. Lose. There's three weak what ones. He does. Yeah. Bridge feed is on the way oh, for uh, Scarlet, but oh. not on the way for our dear Cham. Uh, made the best of it because he knew he was going to get chased off anyways with, by the lings, so he couldn't make it. So he killed what he could. Kind of like that little move. Here's the counterattack from Scarlet pushing across the field. A lot of urges in production uh, for Cham. Meanwhile, Scarlet is taking this opportunity during this counterattack to drone up a little bit, but here we are with an engagement at the natural. <sighs> the spine uh. is not yet finished, and these wings and roaches are going down, and that queen falls as well. Yeah, so there's a few more reinforcements. Scarlet's Scarlet. taking that game number one. Game one. Oh, you're on drugs, Dricket. You are on drugs. <gasps> no. I would so drone rush. I wouldn't even waste their time. I would just drone rush them. <laughs> I'm like, alright, that way, now. <laughs> this is my best chance. What do you think happened? What do you think Chem did? Do you think he went for the roaches too early, didn't have the drone count? Couldn't his mistake was the counter push from Scarlet instead um he knew he was behind on tech and stuff because Scarlet had that layer and she had the opportunity to squeeze in a few of those extra drones before she started with the defender's advantage. So while she was pulling up on her attack, he was tacking up and didn't have enough roaches in production for the counterattack. If he would have made some more army supply um, before he would have tacked up a little bit, I think it would have been, yeah, he would have been behind on upgrades and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, he but didn't even... at least he would have been able to defend and yeah. maybe he could have been able to overwhelm her with another counterattack and he could have evened up the, the economy and tech while he was pushing out his own counterattack from the counterattack. But yeah, that's, that's that. just my counterattack. I mean, my uh, thought process, but possibly a couple of Ravagers behind for Lucky Biles. I, okay. I don't know. I just, um, yeah, I, I, I kind of saw that that was... Uh, Wait, Protoss. She's playing Protoss. That's right. Oh. Wants to give uh, Jam a slight edge. I'm assuming makes it interesting but uh don't 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 mistake it scarlet's really good with protons it's 1L. so Sorry. good all right here we are in cyber forest spawning in the top left hand corner in the blue from clan chivo it is jam and on the bottom right, it is our red Protoss this time. The one and only Scarlet. This is going to be interesting. It's a PVZ. A PVZ. I'm kind of happy that she's switching it up for these matches. Um, yeah. Watching ZBZ in a best of mind can be kind of lame at times. It's just very repetitive and... This well, is nice. this, is, this is nice. Scarlet has been branching out to the Proton side, um, you know, and uh, as you can see, very confidently is able to uh, to play this random style. So it's good. I like it. Yeah. Ditto. Now, 
Have you seen Scarlet play with Protoss? I haven't, so I'm not exactly Only when sure. Only she accidentally ran in Pro or played Protoss in that Red Bull Cup or something like that. A couple long. years ago? Yeah, I think that's the only one I've seen, like, a couple years back in HOTS. Uh, she decided to play Protoss, and she won that game, too. It was, um, but after that, I really didn't think that that was actually something that Scarlet was interested in doing more often. But, yeah, it turns out. It wasn't on accident. No, no, because, yeah. um, Scarlet's been challenging, like, even Pig to, like, some Protoss versus, you know, Protoss. So, definitely working, working the Protoss knowledge. Yeah. So what do you got so here? It looks like we are, uh, the, the, remember how the, yesterday or whatever we cast last, I was talking about how I look at Protoss, like a Terran, like one-on-one -on -one build. It looks like we're going to see, I'm going to say it and start this, but we're going to see a one-on-one from, um, our dear Scarlet. Okay. Time. Now, is this one-on-one going to be a robo or... It's a Stargate. That's Stargate. the one thing that differs from how this um, this composition's going to fare. But she is going to open up with an adept, and it's going to be really good for scouting. And what she builds next out of the Stargate will determine how she wants to be aggressive. You guys saw her building. What do you think? I think it's going to be an Oracle, then a Phoenix. You always think it's going to be an Oracle? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what I think. What do you I think? I think it's gonna be an oracle too. Oh, okay. Watch it be a phoenix. <laughs> uh, oracles are really good to have early on because it generates energy as the time it comes up. It's kind of like a queen, or oracle. infestors, yeah, anything with magic spells. It's just very, it's very good to do. Now there goes the oracle. Yeah. Now, some players actually use the Oracle for the high ground for the Overlords just to displace it, and then the Stalker kills it. So, um, and then others, of course, go over and kill three drones. You know what? This might be a Nidus. That is one thing that Zergs do to try to deny this type of build. It's either a Nidus. Well, look at the, the Overlord placements, and look at the two base layer, and put plus one on the way, and he has Road Warren, and. I mean, he's taking for yeah, he's taking two more gases. This is definitely going to be a nidus of, or an all. No, this is a nidus. It has got to be a nidus, right? It could be. It could be. Where's the fucking it, nidus? Well, they still need. Oh, oh, pulls all the drones. Wow. I didn't go think. Down the I mean, go no. down the nidus. All right, so we're gonna go with two adepts. We're gonna separate the queens, and we're gonna try to. What are we doing with that oracle? Yeah, no, I think just bullying um, the queens right now. Pushing them to the oh, high ground. Th this other th oracle oh, coming. this is bad. Oh no, nine wow. drones going down. Count is still rising. So the. 14 drones. Yeah, the oracle supposedly leaving. Um, Caused Shem to decide to go and take care of the adepts with all the queens. Alright, so we got Warp no 8 score. finished up, a uh, robotics facility, and a Void Raving built. Yeah. How wow, is... this did a lot of damage. This is re That was really bad um, econom uh, economically. For Dude, I am so confused. Usually if you want to pump roaches out, you would have a, um, oh! you would have a third base. One There's a third base. Yeah, I think what happened is Shem tried to be greedy and not get that, of, uh, that spore. And I just find that, that that actually caused them more damage than actually getting the spore. You got it at the Scarlet's main. Scarlet's playing this really well. Well, yeah, but I normally, even in most professional games, I see a spore down just for that sake. Why did he not? I am so curious why he decided to stay on two bases here. Hmm. Maybe... Um, I'm super confused. I could have sworn to God it was going to be... Maybe he was going for a Nidus. Or maybe he's going to go for, like... This is could be potentially, like... As soon as his third base finishes, he's going to start pumping out roaches. Just like my chat didn't mention. Because he's going to have this um, plus two... Um, the plus two missile spell. Yeah, I'm assuming definitely the, the layer tech isn't for... It's for the upgrades. It's to keep upgrading. 
Night it, Transfuse and the Overlord, but he actually manages uh, to save yeah. this Overlord against that Void Ray. Here we go, two All Oracles. All right, so... Oh, we're gonna pick up like three or four Oracles up here, the drones up here. Oh, no! Actually, you didn't, uh, surprised. Surprise, surprise. I think Scarlet assumed there was gonna be a Queen there, and it's like, wait, what? No Queen? Oh, wait, I already pulled. But the damage was done. Avoid Ray coming over to clear some creep. Very important. Keep that creep down. Now we're gonna see a lot of roaches here. So, I mean, a lot of supply has been go gone into those roaches. Yeah. Just kind of like a... But well. at this point, he should be on like 66 crones. Mm. It, it, uh... Yeah. But then again, that early behind. start, he is behind. From what he wanted, no, I know he's behind, but I, I don't, I don't, I, I need to ask him about this game because I'm super confused. That Maybe intro. He was scared to put down a Nidus, or his initial plan was to go Nidus, and he, he saw the adept and didn't want to give it away or something, and just kind of super confused. Yeah. It's 7.30 in, and he'll, he's only got a handful of roaches. Yes, they have plus two, but... But you're talking about Immortal Sentry. You're talking about Immortal Sentry. Yeah. They want roaches. I mean, the whole thing about this yeah. build is to f force out roaches. Yo, he's marching these queens. I don't know how that's going to work with, with sentries. Uh, Why is he building uh, another Evo Chamber? I mean, th they don't even have too much queen energy, so... We'll see. Stasis wards are being placed down. This isn't gonna work. There's no way. And we're placing our army Look at right all these there. Immortals. For, yep. And yeah, a couple links that might be able to force out the. There's uh, the Nidus. Holy stasis shit. Ward. Come on. Oh, the stasis. Okay, that that was not as bad as I thought. That's a pretty good force field. Immortals. That's gonna support force fields right there. Just the stasis alone. Minimizes the usage of force fields. I think this is gonna be really good for Scarlet. Do you think that there is more lings in the mix than this could potentially? I think win this shouldn't have been. No, the shields are really low. No, there's three, four immortals oh, still. Gosh. Not even close. Some, yeah, some of the Zerg army getting stasis. He kind of needs his lings though. Oh, he's got the high ground vision now. What is he gonna? Five immortals and the charge how also going to come Scarlet's back. Taren? Well, we are finding out right now how good her Taren is. Uh, oh, not her Taren. Sorry, her toss is. Yeah. So. Maybe yeah. we'll play Taren next. I do know that charge lot is a very um, Where's the war favorable. Though? She had a war prison. This would uh, be a lot easier. Yeah, because these are actually slow warpins. But uh, yeah, still more more roaches being sent out. Scarlet's yeah. defending. Um, I thought Losing a lot of a... mortals, though. Oh! You know what? Do we have charge? I... I'm... What? You know what? Chim's gonna pro... What? What? I'm very surprised. Look at this supply! Wait, are these charges on the other charge lots? What the fuck? Oh, uh, you know, well... I Lorenzo. mean, there, well, there's no prism. There's no prism micro. Lorenzo, and, there was no prism. Well, no prism micro, and then making charge lots instead of uh, making stalkers instead of charge lots to support the immortals. Um, okay. That that is what uh, happened. You're supposed to have charge lots with your I'm army, not stalkers. Sorry, Cham, for doubting your roach push. I bow to thee. Cham has tied it up. 1-1 one, one in this best of nine series. Yeah, and then Chem of course did some decent upgrades with the uh, with the timing, so it, uh, it it followed through at the end to about a, what ten minute timing nine nine forty. But yes. Chewie, thank you for the this uh. Hug you. Hello. Yeah. Interesting. I would want to ask Scarlet why she decided to get stalkers instead of charge lots. That's what I would want to ask. As well as the prism micro. Uh, no prism. 
was very surprised. We were looking like uh, a by the book Protons play. Good, how are you? All right. Never underestimating Tam again. But I still do believe that if there was a warp prison, that might have gone the opposite way. I believe so, too. I've seen great holds with the prison micro. Yeah. Well... Spawning in the top left hand corner in the red, we have Scarlet playing Protoss once again in this third game. And on the bottom right, our blue Zerg. It is Shem. Can you say Cham? I didn't Chem? Even say Chem. Is it is it Chem? Yeah. Cham. I said Shem. <laughs> I didn't Chem. even know. Chem. Well, he's going to pull first. We're going to see a little bit of cheese from Cham. Uh, is it cheese or is it just safe play? You never know. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I mean, it is a Protoss. Still a cheese opener. I would you like know, to say a safe cheese. opener. Uh, I wouldn't consider it a cheese opener. I would consider it the safest opener Zerg has. I would consider a hatch first cheese. Wolfram. In my opinion, no hatch versus yeah, cheese. Yeah, an aggressive opener. That's a better term. Aggressive whatever. opener, yes. Safe and macro opener, is cheese. Aggressive opener, whatever. You can have lings and a queen out. <laughs> Easy. For simple, hey, it's, it it takes care of uh, early aggression. Now we are going for the hatch at the third. Shem's already expecting a block at the natural, or just doesn't want to deal with it. So we're playing yeah. it safe. Well, he doesn't know he took the third base quite yet. He does see a couple of links coming out. So, um, me, sorry, she. I was thinking. Yeah, but Scarlet. To, I'm not used to Scarlet playing Protoss. No worries, but Scarlet um, most likely already expects that Hatchery being at the third. I mean, it, it's it's not for a, for a higher level player when you're a Protoss and you don't see a third. It's it's kind of you expect the third being there. It's it's not um uncommon it's like when you don't scout it oh well <laughs> scarlet does uh block the entrance yeah and these lings want to try to get a scout what's going on but it looks pretty standard so far um definitely scouted that cyber going off so warp gate is to be expected there's a robo we're in the main base yeah we we're going for robo. a robo yeah. yeah this might be uh our com play <clears throat> it could be an out. adept Poor cam as well uh, scarlet's probe is inside the base still surprised why it's still there normally the adept you know this goes probe over is there good boy it has scouted everything for scarlet oh. the queen are you getting lag? knows what's going on Okay. Alright, got another gateway going down. Scarlet did not forget horror prism this game, Florencio. Is that what happened? No, she just built one. Yeah, yeah war prism. There it goes. Uh, question is probably what is it gonna be the adept style? Is only immortal prism? There's no gateway. It's only one gateway. Second one on the way. So there's still more to this. This looks like it's gonna be a uh, third, but the third is late. This looks like a standard Protoss play. Just that the third normally comes up about 420, which is gonna be in another 20 seconds. So 420, 420. Yep, that's about the time that the third comes up. So we're gonna see one in about 15 seconds. Well, the white prism is actually good. Um, 
it did force the lings to kind of pull back and stop harassing that forward gate. Um, yeah. Was yeah, it's meant to try to keep the army on their side so that you can take your third. That's what this is supposed to help do. Canceling their shades. Yeah, try to keep the creep tumors down. Uh, the can you only pick thing... up your depths when they're shading? Not the actual you, shades. But you can pick wider. up your depths. Yeah, you can pick your actual shades uh, adepts up. Okay. It just cancels out. Oh, oh, nice surround in these adepts, forcing a pickup from that epic range from the War Prism. Yeah. You know, this is looks like it's going to be a two base all in that Scarlet is doing. I think what Scarlet's noticing is normally the third does get picked off in most cases and is still learning how to adapt to it. So it's, it's so Scarlet's doing more of a two base kind of like standard meta. It's like it's the standard meta, but... Because it's not three bases, it, and it hits a lot earlier instead of like about eight, nine minutes. It's hitting at about six minutes. So two minutes early. Uh, you just don't have a lot of charge lots. You know, you don't have a lot of that that you normally do. But, I mean, you're still going to have a decent amount of like maybe a depth to help yeah. support. Well, this is potentially just a bad, uh, bad, this is a pretty a strong all in. build that she did last game. Yeah. A couple force fields going off here. Drones are being pulled. Files are, are forced to break low. Uh, yeah, all the drones are being pulled. Yeah, this is a deadly <laughs> attack. This is a very deadly attack. I mean, 21 drones going down so far. The pickups, the pickups are good. Okay, good. Pickups yeah, are good. She, she has the warp prism this time, so. Yeah. So it's GG yeah, well played. Way harder. Scarlet. Up one game. Yep, nicely done. Well played, Scarlet. Nice, nice. I'm not really sure where Scarlet's playing from right now. I believe she's probably... Is she in Korea? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not she's sure. She's still in Korea. Uh, I'm not, that's, a, that's a good question. Does anybody I, know? Can anyone confirm? I know Neeb was in Korea recently. <clears throat> I don't know if he's still there, but I know he was recently well, over there. I only tournament. assume because of a video that I saw someone... Um, Linked from No Regret, and I saw Scarlet in the picture. So. I think. S Silky. Stealthy. So Stealthy went to China. She's Protoss again. Nice. Question is, uh, what, are you, what are we going to see on this one? I, I kind of want to see Scarlet Cannon Rush. <laughs> but I don't know what we're going to see. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of the... It is a little hard to do the cannon. Is this 1-2? Uh, one, uh, Cham's 1, Scarlet 2. Yeah. Well, That's spawning sick. on the top left-hand corner, we have the guy from Clan Chivo. It's Cham, the guy. <laughs> and on the bottom right, the one and only, the Creep Master, but this time Protoss. It is back. Scarlet. Say Scarlet. Nobody heard you cut out. Oh, it is Scarlet. <laughs> Sorry, my darn Discord. Stupid Discord. Three. Oh, uh, no cannon rush. No. Nope. No, we're gonna go standard. Standard. Yeah. yeah hatch first and gateway opener. Gateway expand. Yep, it's gonna be a. Um, 
Hmm. Well, let's see. A forge first. Okay, this could be a cannon rush because forge is normally not a part of the standard meta. It's normally gate nexus and then another it's gas and then of course cybernetics for then gateway. But a forge, second forge is still a cannon rush. And you just get a, a backup uh, follow-up. See how the cybernetic score is coming up? Yeah, so yeah. Scarlet's going to cheese right now. And Shem okay. doesn't know it. Yes. Is it going to be a proxy robo? Yeah, it's going to be a proxy, proxy cannon starting? rush into a robo. Yeah. There it's starting. Took the gas, too. Is that a wall? Yep. Or is that not a wall? No, no that's a passage, right? Surprised that drone uh, didn't go up. Walking off the passage. Um, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Assumed. Or is that? I gotta check that later. Oh, the drone got in. She, she let the drone in. Yep. Well, Robo's being done. There is a cannon being made. Well, you can keep you can keep the drone in there. It's fine. You can mm -hmm. kill a drone. What you do is you I just, just trap it. them. Yeah, as long as it's just one. The shield battery finish is in one of those cannons. Tam's in trouble. Well, that cannon did finish. Yep. Uh, uh, we're finally getting that drone. Now we're gonna yeah, attack. Even that probe, even the probe is helping right no, no, now. No, no, no. The shield battery. The shield battery. It's, oh no. It, it's not that she was helping the cannons. What happens is if you attack the drone once, it's a two shot for the cannon instead of three shots. So. Yep. It was a nice little uh, micro oh, support. Oh, but the probe died. Losing that probe. Losing that probe was very big. Now there's big. still an immortal being chronoed out here, but there's only one cannon remaining, and this shield battery is out of energy. Yeah, and there's two more queens. The immortal will get out, but this is gonna be. I blame Haas for this, Dricket. Actually, uh, Printef. Well, good positioning for that immortal right there, but they're uh, it's gonna get surrounded now. Yeah, now we're recalling it, so recall. that's good. Oh no! No, oh, I no. like it. I like it. You gotta understand the damage has been done as well on both sides. Drones have died. Lings have been forced How out. Many drones Queens are not injecting. Six drones and fifteen. We only have, have nine. Died. Yeah, only nine drones in the mineral line. But Scarlet uh, actually lost more. No, we're on two bases. Yeah. No, press shift L. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. You, I know, I'm just telling you. I, I know. More. Well, it's, yeah, true, but it's misleading. Because it's about You're strategy. You're misleading, Florencio. You sure. are a misleading player. Yes, and I yes. know that, that sometimes cost and efficiency doesn't really reflect the truth of what's going yeah. re really going on. See, right now the mind is being broken. <laughs> Held it like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got him. Uh, what happened to my. There we go. Alright, so Layer is about halfway finished for Cham. Just continuing to make a few more drones, but there is an Oracle finishing up for. Our Protoss, Scarlet. Oh, Scarlet's going over there with an Oracle. Uh, transitioning right into the standard meta, which is good. Oracle into uh, eventually Immortal Sentry. So we're trying to balance it. Now, the, the, the difference right now is that there's no third. Shim has no third right now. So that's good news uh, for Scarlet. Well. That oracle was pushed away by uh, some mama queens. Okay, Sc Scarlet taking care of some lings. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Recognize that there was a lot of scouting being done. Hmm. Yeah, nice. No yeah. third yet for Cham. There it is. Okay. Okay, okay. Hydrogen going down for our Zerg player. We got another robo being built. Or, a eh, sorry. A robo being built for Scarlet. And speed is finally on the way as well. Yeah. Scarlet's using some of the Oracle energy right now. 
And the overlords are still in, well, the overlords still in position of a third, so we already know that Scarlet's not taking a third. I think that that's not the best thing to do. You just want to deny scouting. Where's the hydrogen? Oh, it's at the, the natural. At the natural. Did not see the hydrogen yet. Yeah, they try to avoid it with the fe the phoenix scouting. They always go for the main, so they've been putting it at the bottom. It's hard to scout, or most people don't expect it to be there. Well, Chan did scout Scarlet's second robo. Mm, there's three oracles out now for Tam or for Scarlet. Yeah, they're actually just actually waiting for the hatchery to go up. Wonder what they're wanting to do. Keeping the creep? Maybe they're gonna take out this creep right here. I believe that's what they're gonna be doing. Revelation and some I don't know. Uh oh. Revelation, yeah. there you go. <coughs> Keeping an eye on the hydras. Now the biggest thing right Link. here. Yeah, Link saw that third. Is to try to deny the uh, Zerg from going air, because what Scarlet's going into is a. Uh, oh, he saved his sentries. Can't get hard countered. Revelation. Yeah, still right now these oracles are just being utilized for scouting, for revelation, to see where the army is, see what the tech is, any move outs. Probably deny any like creep from really really expanding across the map as well. Yeah, keeping the queens from going out. Another Shit. robo coming down and Twilight Council as well for Scarlet. I wonder if Scarlet's gonna deny some of this creep or keep it. Yep, yep. Ah, uh, tried to get yeah, that last one at the end. That creep. Yep. It's actually harder here because of that blocker. So the Overlord needs to go over there every time to catch it. So now the Queen has to actually walk out there. It's not going to be so easy. So that's actually pretty good. Those little things really help kill the creep from getting worse. Yes, ah. Look at the Queen. She's going to walk over there. She's like, oh, i got to go all the way over there. <laughs> it's annoying. It's frustrating. Yeah, yeah, but it's like, oh, okay, now I can start it again. <laughs> and... Urkel's trying to get in, get a couple of um, drones here, but these Hydralis are definitely in position. These are rulers are giving a nice scout of where these oracles are, or when and where these oracles are going to come in. Yeah, I like how Shem's got lings just right outside the edges of where you can go, all the exits. Yep. Well, a couple of changelings coming in as well for some vision. Yeah, we're going to see Oh, because I have Team with. Health Bars on. Gunner. Yeah. I don't know, that's just how I've always done it. <laughs> I, I do damaged. It's actually a little bit cleaner. Eh, it's just when I play ladder, I have the, the health bar like this. It's for my own. It's, it's, your, it's you're for used to it. purposes. Yeah. I used to like always think that. I don't know. I always used to think that my lings were their lings or their lings were my lings. And it was very confusing. So I that's started good. utilizing team colors for ladder. It's a good uh, strategy. Avalo doesn't use health bars. What are you talking he about? He does him? use them. He uses them. He Can just he, he activates it. Yes, he does. Really. He does. A, it's a hotkey. He turns it on and off every time he wants to check if you need if he has it if he has uh, weak units or not. It's he does. You guys need to learn how that works. Trust me, I know. It's kind of stupid. It is. It is. It's his way. It's just like your way. You know, you have that where you have a strategy where his is a little bit not not making sense, other than the fact that he just likes it looking clean, yeah. I guess. But um, yeah, he still uses it. It's just a hockey. He turns it on and off every like second or so that he needs to check it out. But there's an oh, the prism got sniped. Where? Top it? right. Where? The hydras on the top. Twelve o'clock. So Scarlet was oh, actually the Hydra. Yeah. I really missed it. I was looking at Scarlet's army and it's getting very scary looking. Ooh, she spotted a one Bane <laughs> Who's Avocado? Uh Jay, what are you doing? I could 
I think he's like a silver player or something. about to finish up for champ. Oh, this is oh. Scarlet's got a strong oh, army. Scarlet's about to move out. She's almost maxed out and so is Cham. Um although her upgrades are a little bit better than Cham's currently. Yeah. Yeah, no They're Scarlet. They're the same number of bases. This is scary. If what? Cham can get a good engagement, this would be sick. But his little zealot run by did well, let's find out. Zealot run by. How do I keep thinking Cham is Protoss? There we go. The force fields oh, are going to be pushed. No, the storms There's the storms. And the force field. The force fields. This is not an army to mess with. You need brood lords, and I do not see any at all. No. Well, there's no um. There's a hive, but there's no greater spire. Yeah, no. And yeah, we're at 12 minutes. No greater spire. Trying to face this army. Is very hard. That's a lot, dude. All that's left is immortals. Here's a couple of yeah. zealots, but yeah. look at all these. Immortals. No, the, then the the charge. Yeah, <laughs> Scarlet takes it. Scarlet. What? Not yet. <laughs> we still, yeah. Three. Are you a liar, Dan? We got one more, right? One more match. The best of nine, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like four. Five. Okay. Five. Okay. Why is Scarlet playing for Protoss? Because she wants to play for Protoss. She could play whatever race she wants, and Protoss is a beautiful race. Such a beautiful race. <laughs> the green. Oh, yeah. So what I've learned in PvZ when it comes to the meta, playing meta to meta, for the Zerg player, a Nidus Worm before like a certain time is really good to do. Or in late game, Brood Lords by 10 minutes or so is kind of like the counter to, to Protoss's army right there. Or Muta Switch or Swarm Host. So the main ones that I've seen constantly being the, uh, uh, the compositions that do good versus that this is 4-1 right 3 3-1 three. 3 3 3 3 what 3-1 3-1 yeah right Okay. Three one. Three, three one. one. Yeah, yeah. Three one. Three one. One three. In the top right hand corner, a new repugnancy. We have the blue zerg player. He needs to win these next two games, or he's in trouble. I mean, he just—he's the best. It's Cham. And on the bottom right, who is a zerg? player but right now is showing us the Protoss it is Scarlet did you guys hear me say Scarlet yeah all right thank you Just, uh, no making making sure pylon yeah. at the low ground pylon at the low ground next is being built in the low ground oh next is first yeah next is first Scarlet we might be able to see like a mass adept play. Yeah, but from the last few games that Scarlet has played against Cham, uh, she has been scouting him on two bases very consistently. So why not go Nexus first? He hasn't been aggressive. He hasn't cheesed. You right. feel kind of comfortable if you were Scarlet. And she's the right idea. Might as well play Greedy. Well, that, yeah, the last game was a pull first, wasn't it? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but he didn't really do anything. Okay. Yeah, it was more of a she defensive. He still had a probe in his base. Like, by yeah. the time he had three bases. And running around, the links were just following the probe instead of actually this going for the gate. army. This yeah. is two gate. This no, 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 no. You start off standard. This looks kind of like standard. When you when the overlord comes in, you see two gates and a... And a, and a, and a, and a mm, 
Cybernetic core. And then there's cyber going. Mm. For a quick second, until you see the nexus, then you're going, oh no, that's an early nexus. But the thing is, this play is going to be a double gas only, full saturation on both bases, but not the third and fourth gas. All in. And we're going to go for yeah, two base all in. We're not going to guess. How many gates? Eight gates typically is the average. Uh, Look at these guys race into the. Yep. This is a rude pro. That is a rude pro. Yeah, that's gonna be very bad because that's that's Shem's normally fast hatched and normally needs for, but Shem might be doing a two base all in and that might be an a, a, a you know macro hatch. Oh yeah, yeah. he w he didn't want to make a hatchery, but he made it after all because he saw Scarlet going around and double checking that there was a hatchery. Might be canceling it. Or gonna go he's use gonna that hatchery? It. No, he's gonna keep he's the not, third. He's not gonna cancel it. It's gonna be you a two. You won't. No, no, no. It's a macro. It's a no. He won't. Most likely, no. not not knowing, he's gonna get checked no, no. on. But I think it's gonna be a macro hatch. No, no, no. No, no. This is. No, no, no. no. Yeah, he he's not gonna saturate it, but this is definitely yeah. not like a fake out. Right. These well, two depths are nearing the creep of the natural base of Cham. Oh, the links are here. Uh, this is. She's gonna have to shade where she's. She canceled the shade. Yeah, okay. No, so we're just she checking layer tech. Off creep, so it's really good. <laughs> oh, the bottom right. We have um, a gateway. Oh, it's be we're a, warping in. Yeah, for it's the gonna, fast warp in. Yep. So yeah, we're, we're gonna see some glaives eventually. Yeah, we're gonna see charge lot or glaives, or we're gonna get like star. Like it's gonna be something like glaives or charge lot. I'm thinking glaives. Ah! Five more gateways going down. Yeah, you Just notice. Eight, 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 eight. You notice how there's no third and fourth Seven, gas. Eight, yeah. Oh shoot. Oh, this is gonna be a fake out gas right here. So Scarlet's making this gas, making it look like it's gonna be a standard base because the Overlord always checks it. But this is that two two gas play. Which the camera already scouted the the gate. True. She's gonna have to warp in. She's gonna have to like warp in like right now. And that gateway is being warped into a gateway. But she can still warp in if she has to. Actually, we're gonna be she actually losing escape. it. Are we gonna send another probe? Why did. Oh. Okay, that and, got canceled. Yep, canceled. Denied. Uh oh. Oh, there's a lot of links. There's a lot of links. Forcing a recall out of Scarlet. Um, Ouch. <clears throat> yeah, that was actually a battle with the probe. It's gonna get caught. Yeah, the probe or, is gonna get oh, caught. Or is it? Turned oh. around. Oh, it wants to make sure. It wants to finish off the gateway. I said, no, nah, you know what? All you need is one pylon and it's back to issues. So we're probe, playing probe, safe. Probe, 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 no. Yeah, we're playing it safe. Good call for Shem on that one right there. Okay. Well, Scarlet's going to attempt to take her third base. Yeah, this is interesting. Scarlet has to get out of this uh, this all in that was gonna be done. Now we're gonna have to get a robo just to play, it. or we can go blink stalker or char or maybe of course like charge lots or something. Oh no! Nice. Well, nice force field. I think it's gonna be a double robo play. She's gonna blink, she's blink gonna get stalkers. two two rope two immortals. I mean, at a time that'll be a really good follow up. Oh no! The third base is getting attacked. Nice little tickles. Sexy fucking Bexy and Flo the bro. Yo, yo. <laughs> oh, what up? Yo, what's up, Dougie? Welcome to the stream. Oh, we got the Phoenix. Gonna go scout around. We're scouting for Lair Tech. We're scouting for Spire. Seeing if there's a Hydra list then. Because uh, Shem hasn't revealed too much tech other than just slings. He saw lots of gas. He saw lots of gas. He saw a saturated third. Um, well. Why do I keep thinking that it's fucking Cham off racing? <laughs> I'm fucking sorry. Oh, she, Cham. Scarlet, has scouted all the gas that Cham has taken. Yeah, oh Cham's going for a fifth base. Best fucking Oh no, fourth base. Hell. Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of what he needs to do because um, Scarlet's not letting him deny this third base. And you want to be at one base ahead of the Protoss player, especially for the Larva. 
So looking at the drone count, Cham is right where he needs to be. He's at 67 workers. He's got that fourth base going. But Scarlet is right behind with 62 workers. And she's got a nice little hefty army and almost a saturated third base. So yeah. she's she's on top of her macro as well. Yeah. Oh, but, but this attack! Here we go with a huge engagement. This is a huge the army. Base. There's only six trees here so far. That's a lot of roaches. Unexpected too. Oh, anyway. the files! Okay, all right. Only five herbs going down so far. But I definitely think. Oh, this is gonna good. be an interesting fight. Yeah. How are we gonna take care of it? We're gonna slice it. We're yeah, gonna use the. Kind of yeah, we're gonna oh, use no, the roach range. Oh out. no, the sentries are getting caught. This is bad. Bio's going off, but oh, ow, ooh. Oh, we're not picking up. We're not doing the prism Bye, micro. Nexus. No, no prism micro. We're gonna have to see a counter attack. No from pickups, Scarlet pickups. Here. Yep, there you go. That was gnarly. Eleven probes going down. Got a warp prism here. But Blink is also finished. Yeah. Roaches yeah, are it's 101 back. army supply to 43. Losing that third was big for Scarlet. Especially if they're going third. four base. Yeah. 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 I mean, for a Protoss, uh, it's even devastating. Yeah. The champ's already got plus one. And yeah. It's over. It's too many. Not enough sentries. No immortals. Maybe just, with some shield batteries and cannons. No, oh, not versus. Enemies. This is a yeah. swarm. This is a swarm. And the probes are still rallied to that base. She just lost 12 more. Yeah, the roaches yeah, have speed. I think she's typing out GG here. Uh, Shim. Shim. Takes it. That was that was good. That was, Look at this reply. That was a good attempt for Scarlet too. Going for that for that play. I was still interested to see what she was gonna do. Whether it was gonna be like um, adapts or stalkers, because I wasn't sure. <laughs> it's <laughs> it is Bexy bro and sexy fucking flow. Get it right. <laughs> Quick, Dan Blink. Do it. Just do it. Do it. Oh oh. Is that me? Oh no, that was somebody else declined to record or remade it probably. Or I forgot to make it on something hard. I spent five whole minutes putting that poll together. You guys better do that poll. I recommend you guys do it. She has also, powers. Also, I ate sushi and I, it was wonderful. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. You're the best. You know, BS. Thanks, Zeus. Thanks, Scorpion. Thanks, Dan. Dan the man. Hey, Acropolis. Interesting planet. Okay. You want to start out? Uh, All right. On the bottom right, we have the Zerg player in the blue. It is Shem, representing Chibo. And his opponents 
in the top left hand corner in the red it's the one the only it's scarlet <coughs> i'm trying not to die it's in my bowl and i sound like a squeaky kid oh this one's gonna be an interesting one this is the Hello. gas first the gas first play it's gonna be yeah, interesting. Yeah, I was just looking at that. What, what do you? Yeah. Think, what do you, what do you well, think it's the it? it's the standard meta, but this one actually has more gas, so you can get more sentries into your play, and then a couple more immortals. So it's kind of like you know the normally the three base is kind of standard meta for 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 PVZ, but Scarlet did the two base all in. Well, this yeah. might be the two base all in, but with even more gas, so it's gonna be more sentries and more immortals. It's gonna be uh, more punch. Uh, Maybe a little bit later. Maybe it might not be six minutes, but it might be about seven minutes or six six thirty. We'll see okay. what happens. But I'm quite interested to see what she's doing with that extra little bit of gas. You think she's gonna throw down another forge? Try that like, cannon rush again? Nope, no, cyber. No, no forge. You don't go for a forge with the uh, with the early gas. This is for late game play <clears throat> for a two base timing or a timing attack in itself. Just asking, Florencio. Look, Please, you don't have to yell at me. Don't yell at me, Bexy. You don't know Please. my life. You, I'm you sensitive. Don't, you, don't, you don't know me. I'm telling. You don't know me. Clarence, is a bully. He's a misleading StarCraft bully. Free. Free. All right. <laughs> Scar is coming in, scouting the hatch. Everything looks started. normal. Yeah. Nothing Wait, to worry she about. Canceled. She put a Stargate down. She canceled Warp Gate. Put a Stargate down. Started up Warp Gate again. Wait, cancel? Okay, okay. So she wants to Stargate really early. Seeing that she noticed that there was a hatch first, everything looks normal. So she's just going off of us like a really early... I don't know what she's going to do with that early gas, though. I'm curious because she already wasted some of that gas by canceling... No, no, no. Canceling the Warp Gate doesn't actually... Uh, deny you any extra gas, so mm -hmm. that's fine. The gas is still built in. Battle cruisers. <laughs> what? <laughs> you mean carrier? <laughs> carrier? <laughs> sure. All right. Uh, Oracle play. It's gonna All be right. battle cruisers. Yeah, it's gonna be the same. Like I said, it's gonna be the same build. Just more sentries and more, more, more punch. But I haven't seen one sentry yet, bub. Yeah, well, where's that gas going to? Not that one stalker. Where is that gas going to? I know, the right? Death, the oracle. It's gonna go to the sentries. You'll see. Got the oracle coming over here. Scouting around, gonna go look for. It's not even at the base yet. Yeah. Oh no, Do queen's here. Where's Shim? What? Wow, that's um, devastating. Three drones. That's perfect. Three's on a. The three's actually a really good number for. Yeah. There's another. There's a third right there. Rallying this to the front. Okay, Robo's going down, so she might cease production on the oracles for now. Another but oracle. We do have warp gate finished. Okay. It's gonna be more than three, then Nico. Okay. We're gonna go okay. for. Wait, oh, she lost one oracle by the <clears throat> queen. Sorry, oh, my. my bad. I was telling you. <laughs> oh shoot! I was like... <laughs> You know, I, you know, this was gonna be a three oracle play where you go in and you take all a lot of drones out and one oracle is sacrificed. It allows you to get like maybe five drones and t take off with two oracles. Do you think it's better to do that or go two oracle, one queen, or three oracle, one queen, two oracle, one phoenix? <laughs> Oracle. No, no, you don't want to do that. Well, you could do the Phoenix play. That's just another style of it. And then you just use the Phoenix to pick up the Queen while you go in there with the two Oracles and pick off uh, drones. So it really depends what you're, what you're comfortable with or what your build is for. But this one's going to be the three Oracles. Probably going to do that three base sack or the three Oracle. Charge! With run by. There goes a the third. Bexy. And a fourth. What are we seeing here? 
Excuse me. There's sentries! No sentries. Yes, sentries. Oh, just kidding. JK. <laughs> it's gonna be charge less sentry. What else? Immortal. Archon. Immortal. Immortal and Archon. Well, Archons are gonna have... be at the end. Yeah, they're... Oh, they're, in... they're later. They're later. What happens is around the... Lost shit. Scarlet hasn't lost nothing yet, but nine drones and a queen and an overlord has gone down. And one little lonelyling is suicidal. He was a little maniac. There he goes a three. Spread. There goes a three sacrifice. oracle. Sacrifice. The one oracle sacrifice style. Oh. Sacrificed an oracle. Killed a lot of drones. 11 kills. It was supposed on this to be ZVZ. I'm sorry. She, she swapped it up on me. I'll change the title to my... Stream. Are you guys happy? Just, just complaining about the stupidest shit. Look, Scarlet's main race is Zerg. I assumed it was gonna be Zerg for Zerg. My apologies. Stop ringing at me. There's a huge <laughs> link run by the third base, but force fields do go off. And the sentries are still. Yep, yep. Nice hold right there. And you got the oracles to back up the third. Look, we're prism in the main. We're prism in the main. Wait, oh, okay. Be free, Adepts! Free! Ah! What? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a phoenix. I'm sensitive right now. I'm a mess. Alright, so let's go. <laughs> Don't point it out. Free! <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> leaning at me! <laughs> Uh, all right, so the fe the the prism's over here at the uh, bottom, just kind of waiting, waiting its time. Yeah, but the hydras are over here, just they're not playing around. Getting some gateways as walls, making sure that we're eliminating some Illuminati. damage potential. Illum Illuminati. Illuminati, some dam damage potential. The hydralists are in range to push away this. Uh... Or Prism over here. Who's co-casting is Florencio. 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 <laughs> what up? What up? All right, so charge lots in session. Flexi, is that her name is Flexi? There goes the Archons, Bexy. Oh, there's a lot of zealots down in the map. So, bailing speed is finishing up with a spire. There goes a spire. The hive. Yeah. That's what we need. We this need the spire. Good. This will be fun. Chemnesis. This is be a game. I'm actually very surprised that Cham's creep spread isn't farther on the map. Scarlet's creep spread would be over here. She'd be like, what up, Cham? <laughs> It'd be at your doorstep already. <laughs> It'll be tickling your They'll workers. Like, What's up, Tim? The creep tumors will be tickling your workers. Be like, oh, what is this? I run by over oh, here. I'm gonna run by on the but... top right. The bailing take care of that oh, one. Well, you that know what? Was... Scarlet has really good map control right now. I mean, Cham. Fuck! Cham! Ah! <laughs> Nothing in production for Scarlet. What's going on? There we go. Yeah, there goes the Archons. There goes the Immortals. This is gonna be a hell of a fight right here, but the uh, Charge Lots over here trying to do damage. I like the splits, avoiding the Bailings. Yeah, but those Bailings are on a mission. Yeah, and we got <laughs> charge, and we got upgrades too. So these these Z Lots uh, are actually gonna do really good versus bailings. the Bailings. There's so many Bailings, there's so many Bailings. That's fine. We got Archons to sponge there's all so many that. Bailings. Are dead. Yep. Everything's dead. Oh, we got a Scarlet, we got an attack no. on the top. It's actually looking good for Shem doing the the bailings. The bailings have been helping out, but there is a, a set of charge launch attacking all the drones. Jeez. Trying to deny. There's another warp in from Scarlet at the bottom. The bottom is actually not mining. Going back over there. Actually, we're gonna take out this hatchery. Nope, pulling back. 
Yeah, we don't want to go too... We don't want to sacrifice too much uh, resources. Scarlet doesn't have any army technically at home, so other than just um, some storms that are trying to charge up for a future she fight. Wasn't, she wasn't producing while she was attacking. It was... Well, you know, it was, it was, it's was, true. Uh, the, what, you know, that's one thing. That's the one thing about the new update. The new update is going to really uh, hurt this playstyle because you notice how all these charge lots are doing like. Recall, recall, recall. Nope. You know, side damage. Well, that that extra damage that they're going to remove is going to really take the, the, the wind off these kind of tactics. Now oh, another set of charge lot thing. Um, cock block. But April Lords are on the way for Cham. Yeah, we need I another base. God. I swear to God, never used to be able to attack back in the day, right? Well, they made it so that it, they don't just run into an army. They can actually get halted. Because a lot of people would What about a infestors? Can we make infestors have a ranged auto attack too? Well, that's kind of like the Thor, the ultralist not not getting uh not being able to get uh controlled. You know, they certain things have certain abilities. What do you mean the ultralist? Ultra yeah, you, you, can't, you, control, you can't you can't control you can't control them with the with the infestors. They're 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 immune. What are you talking about? Like if you want to control them. Oh no! Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. No. some some know, units just have. It's a massive. It's a massive unit. So is so is uh, BCs and. Carriers and mothership, you know, they're they're just wow. massive. It's just it's one of those things where that unit has that special, you know, ability, and it just overrides the logic of all the other, you know, races, you know, all the units. They, and archons too. Yeah, you can't take archons. Yeah, Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's yeah, certain yeah, yeah. there's certain yeah, units. Yeah, 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 oh, there yeah, goes the brood lords. The brood lords are here. This is actually where the Protoss actually Storm, dies, please. or unless we tap Tempest. This is, this is where Mothership Tempest has to come out about the 12 minute mark, 11, 13 Yo, minutes. Oh, he's losing so much army right. She. Why do I think Champ's a Protoss? She's losing all of her army. Scarlet's losing, losing all the so army. Much damage here. Nice stasis trap on these Hydras, but we here need... comes a whole swarm of Lings. Champ, yeah. going for the mainling bus. We need to Lord's blink into the brood lords. We need to. Might brood be able to. Brood lords are kind of alone. Yeah, we need to blink to the brood lords. Brood lords are really tearing up these this army. Can Scarlet hold this? It's really difficult right now. Only girls play Zerg. That's what it is, Atomic. <laughs> See here. Yeah, I corrected myself, Nico. Threw me off when you said Archons. Um. Now we yeah. have Scarlet has to go attack. The broodlords are really slow, so if we attack them, they'll be able to have. They'll, they'll oh. Have. oh, the archons in their back caught off. Oh, that's not good. We oh. gotta pull back. Oh, but the war, the blink, the blink. We're tearing down some broodlords. These are very expensive units. But yeah, Chan's really trying to throw as many broodlords as he can out there. Holland, he's tying up the series. It's wow. three three now. Three three. What? What? No, this is a game. Because only girls play Zerg. It's probably what it is. The majority of those girls do play Zerg. I'm not going to lie about that fact. It is weird, but it is true. That micro dough. You saw that micro dough. That micro dough. Those, those broodlords look like they were stutter stepping with Stim. <laughs> I'm going to try that in ladder. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, so that's... uh. That was PBZ in a nutshell right there, folks. Oh, she's going back to Zerg. She's going back to Zerg. Yeah, we're matching it up. We got to get back up there. Now it's time. We got another ZBZ on our hands. Yes, we do. Is spotting in the bottom left-hand corner. We have the blue Zerg player. 
It's Chan. And on the top right, it is the one and only. Going back to Zerg in this 3-3 matchup of best of nine, it is Scarlet. So. Six. Prediction. Best of nine, right? Yeah. Best of nine. Yep. Yeah. 3-3. Three, three. All right, cool. Got it. All right, Scar is going for the hatch first. Hey, AJ. Hello, stream. You think Chan's going to win this game? Okay. Ultra cheese. It's not really cheese at this point, but I would say all in, maybe. Pool started for both players. Oh, Fatty's going for Scarlet. Go vote. Go vote. Ultra Traps. <laughs> the Overlords pass each other. Shim slightly avoiding the slow things just to kind of get that maximum coverage. You're a slow thing. Oh. Got him. Got him. Scared, scared the hell out of me. How did I scare you? It was not like literally a, in Discord was, with me. It was like a deep, deeper voice. You know. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> 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 My name is Daniel. Oh shit. Hey daddy. Hey, this what is what happens when you're sick. No. You damn. can talk like a man. <laughs> Hit them low D notes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bass. And that bass. It's all about that bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got some links trying to harass little scouting. Daniel Day Lewis. My name is Daniel Day Lewis. Oh, okay, nice is to Duke meet Nukem you. Nukem here? Yeah. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. He was playing Borderlands too earlier. Yeah, I gotta go trade check the trailer to see what that's about. Oh, it's so much fun. Berlin 2 is great. I'll, yeah, I'll check it out. If you guys are Hey girl, into it. wanna see that D What's my main? I was a siren in Borderlands. I think that's what it's called, right? Siren? When you sick, you actually just add grave accents to everything. <laughs> what the fuck? But it's true. <laughs> Got the overlord placements on both sides. It's always fun to kind of see the um, Dick. the overlord sorry, locations. Flo is seriously trying to cast, and I'm just being an asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry, Flo. You're doing such a great job at casting. You're being uh. so serious and everything. Maybe you uh, need to tie your shoes to loosen the. Oh up. shit! <laughs> 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 you gotta get that. <laughs> oh shoot! Get them underwears untied. And... Damn. We got some Florencio fans in chat. Ooh, ooh, what up, peeps? Oh, there's some banelings over here. Potentially get a really, really big. Oh, take them oh, out. Oh, oh lord, shit. got taken out. Oh, the lings are coming in. Doing some really good damage. Oh, shit! Yeah, I always think oh, of... Uh, oh! Shit. I always think of Cassidy's um, follow uh, or host... Uh, what is it? Host videos where the guy's like, Oh, shit, damn, oh, I got... Yeah. <laughs> damn! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> and bailing wars right here. Uh, and 
we're, you know, we're trying. Let's see, lings are just like hide and go seek, you know. It's like, or what is it like freeze tag or something? Tag your it, you know. It's like you always try to stay away from it. Like no, <laughs> don't touch me. And doesn't know that Scarlet's following him. Okay, now now he does. Scarlet, no, what happened? Uh oh, uh oh. We're gonna try to take out that bailing. That bailing's too late. It's already up. No, 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 no. Three, two. Oh. Very close. There's bailings. Scar is actually wrapping around. A lot of them. 8 p.m. over there. Are we gonna get caught? Oh, I didn't see it, but. Mainling, just in time. Bailings. Oh. Bailings, bailings, bailings. Oh. What? What, Bexy? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Tongue twister. The roaches are starting to come out now. I think the bailing phase is over. Hello, oh, no. no. I don't think the bailing uh, is I don't know. But behind the roaches, there is a spire being dropped. Here we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Overseer. It's coming in, getting the eyes, eyes all the over. Eyes. Does it see the nidus? Did it see the night? Where's the nidus? Oh, it's at the third. Did he see? Yeah. Did she... Who's the red? Oh, Scarlet. Did she see? She didn't see. I was thinking they should have like better like graphics to the units. Like if uh, like if they're almost dead, the overseer's eyeball will be hanging out, or like, you know, maybe one will be busted and the other one like you know hanging. Yeah, and stuff Speaking like that. Graphics and shit. You know? No one has complained about my fucking low graphic setting. You got some cheap ass graphic setting going on there. Night is going off in the main base of Scarlet from Cham, but meanwhile there are some beanlings being morphed over here for Scarlet. Yeah. But she pulled him back. But there's a dropper lord ready for her. Now we're denying. Uh, the night is says not go off. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, but we're gonna we're still gonna put it out there. Shem said, you know what, we're still going to have that army, whether you like it or not. It's just not going to be in your main base, Scarlet. Scarlet has enough to defend this, but meanwhile, there is a bailing drop going off, and the natural bees. Nine is attempted once more. Here comes the bailing drop. Look at the natural bees. Oh, boom, boom, <laughs> boom. Boom. Kaboom. Okay. Oh, there he is. We got two Ravagers right here doing some vials, doing that extra little damage. But is it Nine enough? Is off in the main. Nine is off in the main. Oh, Oh, we're going shit. in. Oh, Nine is at the fucking third, too. Oh, we're trying. Oh, shit. They're in the mineral line. Yeah, they're taking a lot. Of, they're holding position, getting maximum damage on the drone so that they're not actually hitting the roaches. Perfect micro. Now we're going to separate some of this army. I'd probably... Oh, trying to deny that rap, that Nidus. Before we sneak in there. Oh, we're going to get everybody oh. in there. The party's Bye. still going. Now they're coming out of the other Oh, base. that was bad. Pull back to deal with that. Shem just needed um, to finish off that Nidus. And... Not quite. Uh, and we're damage. back in. Bye. 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 And back to the main base, quick. Nope. nope, nope, nope. Not this time. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. Does that mean... No, no, they're at the main base. Okay, I was like, does that mean they're coming they're out? They're coming out. They're, they're coming out again. Yeah, there they go. Champ's not done yet. Nope. Now, how's okay? So Scarlet's getting a uh, nidus of her own, and she's gonna do some dirty nidusing at the bottom. Well, the upgrades are even right now. Cham is pushing forward, hoping to overwhelm Scarlet. Scarlet's Munas did shut down the Nidus, but now the Mutas are coming in to help with the... To help with this army. Um... Yeah... I don't know, this, this, the push it looks like it's coming to an end, but... Chan keeps throwing down more Nidus. He's throwing down one right on top of this fight. But... Scarlet's army is just... Overwhelming right now. I don't yeah. anything out of that. No, denied that. Not as for him, but there is still one down here, and there's a lot of oh, roaches. Oh, and Scarlet's going to return the favor with her own Nidus, hoping to win this fight. Yeah. Oh, the army is... Not this fight, but this game. Where is the Nidus at? <laughs> okay. Well, we are able to get the army over there quick, but 
It's still gonna be enough time for Scarlet to pick off that root. Oh no, 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 we're not gonna be able to pick it off yet. Oh, that's a lot yeah. of roaches. Oh, it's a nice little battle here down at the bottom. Looks like Scarlet is actually taking disengagement. There is reinforcement yeah. coming from Shem, so that's actually helping out, but. Uh, I mean, the lings are also adding to oh, that nice damage. Oh, nice in the face. Even the mute is back here, cutting off uh, reinforcement. And... Scarlet! Scarlet. What? Call that a worm? That was a close Watch one. This. <laughs> Definitely a nice back and forth fight. <laughs> it's like, I like it. I like what it a, a lot. I like it a lot. A ZBZ. Jenna. No, I'm like, I'm not gonna <laughs> scare <laughs> me. If we okay, I'll ask her if, if she wins and we do and we do an uh, winner's interview with her, okay. Alright, sounds good. I love fairy tale. I love fairy tale. All right, spawning in the top left-hand corner of Cyber Forest. We have the blue Zerg player. He needs to win this game, right? Yeah, yeah, he yeah, does. Yeah, he needs to win this game. Yeah, he out. does. It is Cham. Let's see. <gasps> Titania. Oh, there we go. And in the bottom right. Uh, this might be game. If she can take it, it is Scarlet. What's prize pool for this game? 70 bucks to the winner. And 30 for the though. loser. Yeah, so either one. $100 the, prize. People, cool. are, people are getting paid. They're getting paid, man. They're getting paid. That's right. You know how much cheese I could buy with 30 bucks? What, what kind of cheese? Donkey cheese. What? Donkey cheese. Monkey cheese? No, donkey cheese. Donkey cheese? Yeah, it's donkey cheese. Donkey cheese is cheese from donkey. It's oh. it's like they what they Goat they kind of like a cheese. Okay. Yeah, 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 they they milk them and then they use that milk, that donkey milk, turn it into cheese, and it's one of the most expensive cheeses out there. So. Oh. So if so you buy seventy dollars worth of donkey cheese. Yep, I sure would. <clears throat> would you eat it by itself? <clears throat> Oh yeah, I'll, sw I'll 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 put it. I'll bathe with it. I'll put it in my. I'll shave. I'll do little shavings. Put it in my tub. You know. I'll I think you have a problem. My water. Just have a little stack. Right, you know, get up a little water bottle. Put a little cube I think in there. You have a problem. Be, be it wonderful. sounds like you are a sewer mermaid. You damn right. Cheesy, cheesy sewer mermaid. Yeah. 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 So that's how it happened. Yeah. He was bathing in cheese. That's right. In the toilet and got flushed down into the sewer. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? A, is that how I what got my powers? Origin, Th that's dude. how I got my powers right there. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it wasn't just any toilet. <laughs> it had suction. <laughs> uh, and something went wrong. Uh... Why? Uh, I don't know why he isn't streaming. He's probably just chilling. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be streaming all day tomorrow. Yeah, he doesn't have to stream every time he's on Ta a game. Taking a taking a day off. A day <laughs> off. All right. Girl, you get that overlord, girl. You get that overlord. Oh shit! I like how way. I like how Scarlet always sends two queens. You notice that it's like just to make sure that little set of lings don't do the the queen kill. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean yep. it ta takes a little bit, but I, I do notice that. I do notice that they, you know, that queen normally dies. I mean, that overlord normally dies. The queen, both of them live, and now we're waiting for the potential ling flood, right? With this uh, roach. Evolution Maybe. chamber. Plus one missile and the layer is finished, so we're getting um, the roach upgrade. 
Mm. This is interesting. Yeah. Chen's only going plus one carapace. Yeah, Chem's already at the third hatch. The third hatch is almost done for Chem. And for Scarlet, we're going more into the tech. And, okay. and going for a late. See, there goes another one. There goes another one. Last time, he Chem lost two. This one's... Oh, you know what? Scarlet's what? actually using the overlords to actually keep an eye on the, the, the other overlords so that they can get picked oh, she's off. She's gonna go for an evil block. The queens are here, but... Uh... There you go. Yep, no, they're not gonna get third. So Chem's gonna be like, huh, no third, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing, Scarlet? What are you doing, Scarlet? What are you, you doing? You got Nidus in there or something? <laughs> you got Nidus in there? Maybe a spy. It's always a Nidus. What do you mean? You know, if, if it was, um, Saro, somehow that Ling would have somehow jumped in there miraculously and got in there and scouted everything. Well, <laughs> Saro's on a different level. Than yeah. It'll go through anything. walls. He'll do some crazy shit. Defeats uh, logic. Somehow his ling will fly from his base <laughs> to his opponent's base to scout everything. Yeah. Digs under the ground. Push out. <laughs> but this is a really good timing from Scarlet. Cheryl's like the Chuck Norris of StarCraft, you know? Yeah. No, but look at the look at the oh, oh, oh. Scarlet is um Scarlet is rallying roaches. Yes. Scarlet's doing good. Yeah, she's staying on two bases. Picking off, yeah. Sorry. But you kind of also need to take out. The queen's in here too. Yeah, they. They got picked up. What happened? Yeah, I decided she wouldn't go for the third base. Uh oh. Uh oh. The creep. Uh oh. Poop. Oh, here we go. There the is some transfuse. As well. but here More comes roaches. Some reinforcements for Scarlet. Yeah. And we're pooping. We're chronic, we're creating the carpet. A nice uh, little surround by Scarlet. Using that last transfuse on that queen there. Yeah, the red Looks carpet. Like Scarlet is barely going to push into this, but more reinforcements oh. are coming out from Cham. He does have the defender's advantage. Yeah, <laughs> there there is a defender's advantage, but Scarlet's doing really good right now. It and looks like Scarlet's taking a third, so. This might actually whittle down, and we're gonna have to actually go back home and just kind of defend. Wow, this is a really good push. Cham is barely holding on. Yeah, trickling only one or two roaches at a time. I mean, there's a chance right, that we got individual roach micro coming out of Cham. We might be able to get inside. Here. Yeah, we're gonna lose some drones for sure in this attack. We're gonna have to sacrifice some drones. We're gonna be able to. Wow, there's more roaches coming out, honestly. Yeah, there's more roaches. Uh, she, Scarlet took the opportunity and to take more queens. And get. She's more queens on the way. I wonder if she's gonna keep marching queens. Yep. Yeah, yeah she's got yeah. the. Oh, she's got the creep highway. Yeah, she's got the creep highway. And she's not creep making any highway. extra creep. She can close down the creep highway when she wants. Oh, but it's already over. The road speed is here. These queens have some... Well, at it's least over. one transfuse. There it goes. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I, I can't see Shem winning this part right here. This is nice. just... We got a few roaches. Seven roaches uh, coming yeah. out from Scarlet additionally. I honestly believe that Scarlet has pulled this off. Yep. G. 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 Well played, Scarlet. And Scarlet's still collecting three to four hundred resources, followed after.